What's going on, uh, people of the world? Or should I say, Dead Slaves of America? Um, hopefully this gets out to more than just America. But uh, it's your boy, Justin Logical, the Real Talk Reporter, coming at you with some uh, free press raw journalism. Um, I just want to start off today by saying that, uh, first of all, I want to plug my boy, Raw Journalist, uh, Lie Too Bad. This is YouTube channel, L-I-E-D, number two, B-A-D. Um, he's the dude who I watch to, to get some of my info or to get the places where I go to check my info, check my sources. And um, he's a smart, smart dude. He's the dude who inspired me to do this. I said it before in my last video, and I'll probably say it again every video. But um, <clears throat> this is all about information. I'm not going to give you a whole lot of information at once because I don't have a whole lot at once. I got a lot of things running around in my head. Um, I just woke up recently. I guess you could say woke up. Um, anyway, uh, what I am going to do is every day that I can, I'm going to try to do it every day if possible just to kind of bombard. Um, I'm going to give one little piece of information you know, that's important. Maybe talk about a couple of my views and my beliefs and uh, the things that I've seen through my research, um, you know, and my uh, just kind of trying to find the answers to questions and uh, trying to find truths in the lies that we've been told. Um, anyway, I don't like to talk, you know, I'm going to be talking about, you know, secret societies, this, that, and the other. People call it the Illuminati. I might call it that, but I don't like to use that word. It seems trite in this day and age because people are always talking about it. And uh, it's just got to the point where, oh, Jay-Z is in the Illuminati. And Jay-Z is not in the motherfucking Illuminati. He's an Illuminati puppet, if anything. Um, there are 13 bloodlines involved. If we're going to get into that, there's 13 bloodlines involved. If you don't have that blood course through your veins, and a good amount of it, by the way, you're not part of the club. Just plain and simple. That's, that's all there is to it. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that. My point being is, uh, what I want to talk about is Syria. Um, today I saw something that there was like uh, some pictures that were released about, I wish I had them. I'm sure once I get a little better at this, I'll be able to put stuff like pictures up. Um, there were some pictures that I saw, they were posted on one of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of um, that had uh, that was showing that the rebels were most likely um, responsible for the chemical weapons attacks, um, which is what, you know, John Kerry and them are trying to say, uh, oh yeah, it's definitely the Syrian government. And if the Syrian government, you know, uh, uses chemical weapons, then we, we said we would go over there and we're going to go over there. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to give you a little list right here that I got from, you know, another info addict or, you know, info, you know, truth specialist, whatever the fuck you want to call them, um, one of my friends from uh, Facebook get, put up this list and I kind of wanted to put it out there for um, people just come to see what, you know, what you think, um, this, I'm going to call it the top seven reasons why America would love to go to war with the Syrian government, alright, let's start it, um, start it off with number one, Syria doesn't have a Rothschild central bank. Um, if you don't know about the Rothschilds, they're one of the big banksters or one of the big families that pretty much, you know, runs most of the shit, most of the media, and, and handles most of the money that uh, goes around, or most of the money that goes around because money is not worth anything these days. It's all just, you know, debt, which is why they want to get us off the paper money. They want to get us in to the digital money because then they can watch all your, you know, all your purchases, all the shit you do. They can keep you know, keep a good eye on it, so, uh, yeah, so Rothschild Central Bank, they, they want to get that shit started over there in Syria, and it's pissing them off, also, number two, Syria, Syria has zero debt to the International Monetary Fund, aka the IMF, Syria is a debt-free nation, so, right there, you know what I mean, they're debt-free, they don't have any debt, how does their money work, if they don't have debt, what is their, how does, I don't get it, you know, what, is their money backed by something? Oh, do, do they do that anymore? I don't think that's such an old thing. Nobody backs money by gold or silver, you know. Just debt, you know. I owe you, you owe me. Let's go around the I.O. tree. <laughs> anyway, uh, number three. Syria has no GMO foods and bans GMO foods. Uh, GMO, for those who don't know, are genetically modified organisms. Um, 
when they refer to food, genetically modified foods, basically it's plants and stuff that they've, you know, uh, changed. There are studies that say that they can be bad for you and they can be bad ecologically. Um, so far, the FDA says that, you know, there's nothing bad about it for you, but Monsanto is in charge of the FDA, so we know about how far we can take anything they say. Anyway, uh, I will continue. Number four, Syrians and the Syrian state media is well aware of and frequently discusses the New World Order agenda. Um, you know, they claim anytime they're asked, the New World Order, what is this? We don't know what this is, you know, and um, there's plenty of evidence that there is a New World Order agenda, and they're talking about it on the news, so um, you'd think, you know, a place like America, we're all real, real educated, right? Everybody's real educated over here. We got all these real smart people, but, uh, you know, you don't see anything on the news. What was happening the other night uh, when we're, you know, looking at going to war with Syria, instead of reporting on something important, like that, uh, the CNN would rather report on did Miley Cyrus go too far at the VMAs? Because, I mean, God damn it, if we don't get to the bottom of this, I might not be able to wake up tomorrow morning. You know, screw Syria. Oh, we might go to war with Syria. Also, we might go to war with Syria. We'll put a little ticker across the bottom. I don't think they even did that, but anyway. Uh, number five, Syria has oil a lot. Won't even get into oil. Um, we could be using hemp oil. If we're going to use oil, I think we should get past it. Um, Nikola Tesla and a lot of other inventors. Nikola Tesla is a big one. He's a real, real good inventor. Look him up. There's some information for you. Uh, Nikola Tesla, and he, you know, I think we should be go beyond the combustion engine. But if we're going to use the combustion engine, we can. We don't need this fossil fuels. You know, we can use hemp oil, 95 to 98 percent cleaner, and you know, it's right there. We it's renewable. We can grow it, you know, uh, Washington and Colorado already got their act together, you know, that's, pisses me off that California, my state, hasn't gotten their act together, I, I think we were the first ones who did, uh, who did, you know, uh, medical marijuana, I don't, don't quote me on that, um, but, you know, figured Cali might be the first one, we're supposed to have a good green, so why can't we get our shit together? Anyway, uh, number six, Syria opposes Israeli criminal apartheid. And number seven, Syria is the last secular country in the Middle East. So, those sound like plenty of good reasons for the American government, or the American corporation, to go out and just put these motherfuckers up on trial. Listen to all these things they're doing that aren't like America. Let's get them. Let's get them part of the team. Um... The thing about it is, everybody, is let's let's wake up. Let's act educated. Let's If we are all so educated, let's act educated. Let's act smart. Let's get the info out there to each other. You know what I'm saying? We can all... <laughs> I got a smartphone. I'm doing this shit from my smartphone. This is smartphone video right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> Professor Griff says, smartphones for dumb motherfuckers. Uh, my smartphone makes me smarter. I go, I research things, I look up different things that people tell me, you know, it's it's all right here, the information is all right here in this little, you know, thing that, that you know, everybody takes for granted that's in their pocket. And, you know, the, back in the day, you couldn't go, you'd have to go to the library, you'd have to research this, go f from here to there to there. Now we've all got it right here. You can check info, it's right there at your fucking fingertips. Go Inform yourself, educate yourself, you know what I mean? Do yourself a favor because the American government guaranteed is not looking at educating you. I work for a school, all right? Seventh and eighth graders, all right? I, I do, you know, I'm a teacher's aide at a middle school, and I'll tell you right now, there's a lot of my kids, they can't even read. They're in seventh and eighth grade, and they can't read. Does that sound like a school system that is functioning properly? No, it doesn't at all. I've been able to read since I was in like freaking first grade, man. You're not, you don't get into seventh grade and need to read freaking the Berenstein Bears or freaking ABC Dr. Seuss shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Let's get together. Let's get educated, you know? And, you know, it's let's stop. Let's vibrate at a higher level. You know, Iceland took their fucking government, no shots fired, and put the motherfucker, all the treasonous motherfuckers, put them up to trial and told them, look, put you in jail, fuck this shit. We um, we run this shit, you know? And um, America, you know, we're patriotic and we get happy about, you know, I love America. And, you know, that's why people don't like to say that 9-11 was an inside job. They just don't want to believe that the government would do 
do something like that to you. But the government absolutely would do. Look at the Bay of Tonkin. Look up. There's something for you to look up, everybody. Look up the Bay of Tonkin. See what they did. See what the government, your, your good old government did there. Um, that's all I'm going to go into for tonight. Um, I'm going to try to get another one out tomorrow. Like I said, my videos, unlike my boy Mike Rambo, he drops a lot of knowledge and it's heavy. Um, what I'm going to try to do is pepper you with just little bits and pieces here and there get the you know get the conversation going as much as I can um that's gonna be my method until I get you know my head's just swimming like I said I woke up recently you know and when I say woke up I mean I woke up to what is going on around us you know and uh you, you can go with your blinders only for so long and and I, I was I was actually talking to my dude the other night and I said you know when the I first they dawned on me, you know, I was watching uh I was watching a documentary and it dawned you know, th these things were coming and it was dawning on me and I just started researching these different things that I heard on this documentary and you know, went here and here and started cross searching and, and I swear to God for two days I was awake and I couldn't go to sleep and it just it was over and over and over again. A couple of my boys would come to me and they go, Well, what's up man, what's wrong with you? I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later, and I swear to God, when it was all over, I was, you know, I was tired, and I didn't know, you know, I was like, man, I, I just, I'm different now, man, I'm different, and really, I feel like I, I woke up, and we all need to wake up, we can wake up, man, they call it the Illuminati, that's, you know, illuminated ones, the keepers of the light, but we're the illuminated ones, we are illuminated, because we understand, we know what's going on, we are awake on the light is on up here you know and uh there's more of us than them and like i said it's a very very small club there's no you know there's 13 bloodlines that are involved in this illuminati and if you don't have a lot of that blood running through your veins you are not part of the club whether you want to think you are or not um so you know let's wake up man let's wake up everybody um this is your boy justin logical real talk reporter uh, coming at you live from this corporation we call America. All you debt slaves, you have a good night.